Can you name the five cheapest fifth tier towers in Bloom's Tower Defense 6? Well, I'll give you a hint. It's actually not, not, not these guys. There is a cheaper fifth tier tower than all of these right here. It's the village. If you get a village up to a monkey city here, uh, you can see that you cannot buy the fifth tier. It technically requires a banana farm. But once you build a banana farm in range, it costs only $5,000 to get a monkeyopolis. The cheapest fifth tier in the game. It has been achieved in sandbox mode. But I think that's stupid. So, especially because if you add more banana farms here, then it makes it more expensive. And who's building just a single banana farm uh, monkeyopolis unless you have a weird glitch that makes the monkeyopolis do weird things with uh, single banana farms? So, we're just going to say, bleh, and we're going to get rid of it. And we're going to talk about the five cheapest fifth tier towers in Bloom's Tower Defense 6. We're going to try to play with them in a single game and try to beat chimps mode. I don't want to say on a difficult map, but not, not on a super duper easy map. We've got the Elite Sniper at $15,660. The Elite Defender at $15,660. We've got the Glue Storm at $15,390. We've got the Juggernaut at $16,2. And the Super Maelstrom at also $16,2. I wanted to start off by saying that I will be limiting myself to exactly those five towers to start. But I have a feeling that we are going to lose and we're going to have to readjust or readapt our strategy because I think it's going to be a little too ridiculous for us. So um, to get started in here, uh, I went for a tax shooter play with a dart monkey in kind of interesting spots. I wanted my super maelstrom to be in a location that can uh, obviously explode a lot of stromages right around everything and this is just a good all-purpose location to kind of get started in here and also be really good once i get that strom going for my dart monkey we're going ultra jug and you really have to think about how these uh balloons are basically going to get thrown against walls here because this is a wall and this is a wall so when we have the ultra jug if we throw them up in the top or over here the uh balls but just kind of throw down it's gonna be all over the screen and that's not that optimal to be completely honest but if we can get him down here we can throw down straight lines most of the time with an, a juggernaut which will help us out when we finally get to that ultra juggernaut his balls will just explode all around down here and this is where all the balloons are this is where we want to destroy them all so hopefully it will be effective and efficient down here I haven't built anything else yet, but I have a feeling snipers are probably going to be my key go-to people for early game camera detection and other things and uh, we'll have to kind of uh, see where we go from there. I gotta admit, this is actually a pretty awesome strategy to kind of get started in here. Uh, sniper, tactical combo, when you have some room to play with at the beginning of the map, is awesome. Because this guy just destroys all the, the, the highest tier balloons, the pinks and the yellows, and then this thing owns everything below that. So this is like a really, really solid early game strategy, man. And then Dark Bucky still cleans up if something does sneak through there. And we've got some money to play around with. All right, it's getting a little sketch, a little scary over here. Uh, first of all, we got camo balloons coming up soon. So I figured let's at least get one of our snipers to night vision goggles and shrapnel shot. That'll get us that camo detection and also help us out with a little bit of popping power over here. Um, and uh, ideally, I mean, a bouncing bullet would be like awesome to get that guy early on. I just don't know if we're going to survive until then. So, I mean, that's uh, $3,455. Yeah, I don't think so. The only other thing that I have to think about here is that if I am going for just literally these five towers and seeing how far I can get with these five towers before I pull off anything different or crazy. Uh, I have to think about how I want to get my, for example, lead popping power in here. Uh, and snipers are like an option for my lead pop power, but I'm going to actually be wasting total popping power if I do that. So instead I can either try to get my juggernaut in the very, very back of the map here, or I can already throw down my glue gunner. Hmm. Okay. It's kind of weird. Now we are going to be going for a middle path glue gunner here, and we have to decide our cross paths again. And I think the best option for us is going to be that glue soak and corrosive glue here for the top path, just to make sure we are hitting the mobs and everything properly. Um, I think he got a chain, so the bottom path is okay now, but I'm still kind of afraid to, to switch it off. And I, it'll give me the lead pop bar, so I'm not, I'm not upset with this. And uh, let's see how these leads work. Hopefully good. Hopefully fantastic. All right, so yeah, snipers can't do nothing. It's all up to the glue. And with the glue, smash. Beautiful. I think we'll be able to afford the bouncing bullet in uh, a few seconds here. Things are definitely getting a little scary here. We're going to switch this guy to first, get the bouncing bullet flowing over here. And with the bouncing bullet combo, round 31 turns into a smallish problem. Not that bad. Not that bad. Could have been worse, though. 
I should note that uh, ideally when you get a bouncing bullet, if you're going to go for something like a support tower, like uh, an alchemist or, or any sort of villages or whatever, uh, going for bottom path is way, 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 way better. Uh, in other situations, it kind of depends. It actually is kind of like a, a mix. You could go either way. And I think I still want to just go for my faster fire rate and go for my even faster fire rate because I'm just kind of used to it. And then if I do end up needing to use buffs later, maybe I'll just throw an elk down and just kind of buff everybody up a little bit and not feel bad about it, right? So Bouncing Bullet is indeed doing most of the work right now. He's doing a fantastic job. Uh, but I'm going to go for a jug. I'm going to go for a $1,945 tower here before the Moab, which I don't know if that's even a good idea here because I really don't have a lot of Moab uh, power. I also don't have a lot of uh, lead pop power, though, which is why I kind of feel like I need to get this guy going. And then here's the unfortunate thing. Do we go cam detection or do we not go cam detection? Oh, I feel like I have to go for the cam detection. Um, again, it, for my first try, if I, I'm trying for just these five towers, uh, I kind of have to, to wait this out and see. I also actually have not done the math on how much money this is all going to cost. And this could end up leading me to have like like $100,000 at the end of the game. <laughs> like, like it could be that crazy that these guys are really that cheap. You can get all these guys to buy round 90 or you, you got all... all you already got a surplus of money. All right, Moab coming up here in just a second. Uh, I think I want to try for a Strom. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Bro, are we going to get it in time? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We're going to get it in time, but just barely. All right, that Strom's got to do a ton of damage here. It did a lot. Is it going to be enough, though? We're gluing some of the stuff with Jug. With Jug at the back. With some sniper shooting. Yes, we do. We take down the Moab. That was scary, though. I did not exactly like that, to be completely honest. So I think our next step here is we got more camo balloons coming in, and I think we're good for now, but I'm just going to do it anyways. I, I need the shrapnel shot. I need it. And we're going to go for the uh, semi-automatic rifles in my uh, next tower here. This is honestly a pretty awesome combo. I am not upset with these two snipers right here. Uh, with no buffs. I mean, they're doing most of the work here. I don't know if it's going to carry all the way through to uh, uh, multiple mobs coming in against us. But as of right now, this is solid. This is just straight up solid. I think I'm going to go fully auto rifle here as well and leave him on strong. All right, lead balloons. <laughs> Reinforced lead balloons. Kind of a problem there, but we do manage them. And I'm happy. Again, I'm very happy. I think, optimally, we would want to go for our elite sniper soon. But this is a lot of money spent on these guys. I, I just don't know if it's going to be all that easy to afford that. But you know what? We've got the ability to wait this out. Let's wait until we run into some major issues and uh, uh, see if we can afford the whatever we can afford at that point. All right, round 49 without a Maelstrom here. Uh, and it's clean upable, and the Juggernaut doesn't even do any attacks. That's how powerful these guys are working in uh, unison here. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Moebs, we got him covered this time around. This guy is strong enough to take down the Moab layer, even with uh, out the top path upgrade, just the shrapnel shot. Okay. I'm not upset. Oh, uh, I'm at a crossroads. I thought about it for a little bit, and originally I wanted the Elite Sniper, right? But I was thinking about it for a little bit. I think that Moabs are my major issue, and Elite Sniper is not the greatest against Moabs. So I was thinking that maybe I switch it up, do a switcheroo, and uh, get Elite Defender instead. Uh, that will make it so I damage the Moab class balloons, which is my biggest problem right now, and I think I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Uh, now I can kill the Moabs with this guy, especially when the BFB start coming out, and everything else will sort of just do some cleanup, I guess. Uh, it does set me back a little bit further with uh, with snipers and all that, but um, yeah, yeah, snarf. Oh crap! We got regens. We got regens all over the place. We got camo leads coming in here as well. Luckily, I do have the camo section on my juggernaut. I actually don't even know what was popping any of those camo leads. I don't think this guy pops leads. I don't think he pops leads. So I don't know. But the BFB does go down very easily, actually. Ooh, lots of regen balloons again. Oh, crap. Okay, so regen balloons are definitely a weakness for me. I went for big chunks of um, swaths of open area of defense. And that is not good, evidently, for regen balloons. Uh, I don't know exactly what to do about that. But so far, I, I don't know. Is the next big chunk of regens like 79 or something? So maybe I have some time to get to work around this. We got some tough rounds in here, though. Uh, but reinforced mobs, not a big deal. But big chunks of ceramics. Can we deal with that with snipers? With a jug for cleanup? Uh-oh. I would say this is not looking good. Ultra oh, Juggernaut. Juggernaut trying to keep up here. And it's just barely enough. Woo! All right, so that's going to stop the first set. But I don't think it's going to stop everything else. We're going to at least go glue splatter here. We're going to leave him on strong. Maybe if we just slow the balloons down a little bit, we're going to be okay. Uh, oh, this guy's attacking 
lead balloons on accident or something. Are we? Oh crap! The Strom's getting absorbed by all the lead balloons. This is terrible. All right. Well, this is just awful. Everything about this is bad. But but we still might magically survive. It's all up to the Juggernaut at this point. Got him on first instead of strong. Unbelievable. Woo! All right. That was really scary. Oh, back strong, back strong. I was really scary, but we managed. Again, mm, lots of balloons, but Juggernaut has been coming in for the win every single time. He just does not let those balloons go through. Alrighty then. So we've got our elite sniper here. Kablamo. And I'm, I guess, while we have it available, I guess I'm going to go elite targeting. I actually don't know if that's a good idea. I think, I think strong is probably better. Uh, but I'll, I'll let the game think that this is better, and I'll, I'll give it a shot. Uh, actually, I think first might actually be better eventually. Uh, but for now, again, I don't think we're in trouble of dying now that we have two of our fifth tier towers done already. The question is, what do we get next? Super Strom's probably my safest bet, because if anything hits the fan, Super Strom's got it covered, man. He's a he's just a turbocharged poop propelling fan, basically. All right, if there's an issue, he repels it. Uh, and a Maelstrom by itself is not that bad either, but it's clear. Oh my goodness. It's like, it's, it gets scary because the, the snipers are are kind of letting balloons get really, really far. And then once they get far enough, then they're like, oh, now I'm actually going to deal with you. So if the balloons get down here, I think, oh my god, emergency situation. We can't deal with all the balloons. Then they just change the targeting to, to make that better. So, yeah. Yeah. In fact, we might actually, we, we're going to get close at the very least. To uh, affording all of these 50 tiers before round 80. Just kind of insane. I think Ultra Jug's my best bet. Alright, I'm just gonna go for it. Ultra Jug. Screw the Super Strom. Uh, I, I want something that's gonna clean up all the balloons, and clearly the balloons are the biggest issue for me for right now. At least for right now. This is a tough round. Round 75! Alright, well, I'm getting close to Juggernaut money, but before that. Alright, actually. Dang. Uh-oh, I got no Strom. I need the Strom now! 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 Strom! Through round 76. Beautiful. And we get the Ultra Jug. Woo! We're three-fifths done with our fifth-tier towers already. It's kind of insanity. We're going to have to be a little bit careful for these camo ceramics. Uh, again, only our two snipers can actually hit them. The Strom and the Glue cannot. But, again... Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa! They smoked them! I don't know why they smoked them so easily. I struggled against the first set of ceramics, and then we owned the second set. So, okay. Uh, are we doing, like, bonus damage against camos or something like that? I, I, I don't know. Uh, but again, I accept. Alright, we got $10,000 saved up, so... We are not... Every time I see a mob get down here, I get really, really, really afraid. And then the snipers just, again, change their targeting, and they fix the problem. It's, it's, it's scary, though! I don't really like it! You know? Uh, but I need to be more, more forgiving of my snipers. Just let them do their job. Just keep it all sped up over here. And oh my goodness, we're against a Zomagurd already! Upsettingly, cannot afford a Super Maelstrom. Can't do that just yet. But, uh, he's getting damaged pretty quick. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, check this out. We're going to just destroy these balloons. Woo, easy peasy. All right, perfect timing for the boss balloon music. Now we got to try to beat round 81 plus. Mm, all right, all right. So all the mobs just got way, 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 way stronger. Noted. Okay. So Super Strom already trying to keep us in the game here. Uh, clearly it is important. And I think I'm going to have to switch off of Elite Targeting onto uh, something else soon. I don't know. Like, that, that, that happened. It went down again, like, without any issues. I just used one ability, and we still survived. So maybe I just need to trust. Get a, get a little more trust in my life. Uh, but this is, uh, admittedly, a real chimps game. All right, that's important for us, because if I lose... I lose. I gotta start over, man. To you guys, it's 20 seconds. To me, it's 20 minutes. 20 minutes! Alright, reinforced. Just gonna Strom again. And easy. Woo! Alright, we are almost up to our fifth tower. And I didn't even buy the other upgrade yet, though. We can get a fourth tier glue strike! Alright, so don't forget that the glue strike causes all the balloons on the screen to take extra damage. Extra damage! I mean, not the regular, but the uh, the ability itself does. So if we get a good combo here, we can go boom, boom, and get extra damage on our super strom stuff. It's not a bad combo, man. Not a bad combo at all. All right, we're still going through the 80s here, and I'm going to say we're, we're pretty much flying through the 80s. Uh, but I didn't have as much money as I thought I would, to be honest. 
I thought it was going to be like rolling around and loads of dough over here with the cheapest fifth tier towers in the game. Unfortunately, not quite the case. Uh, while we got some time though, I was actually going to tell you guys a story. I was going to tell you guys a story about me going down a river in a canoe. Yeah. So, uh, I may have told the story a long, long, long time ago, but it's been such a freaking long time. Nobody remembers anyways. I was at Turkey Run State Park. All right, and me and my friends go camping every year, and we decided let's go on a uh, uh, a beautiful and amazing canoe trip. So there's there's three different lengths of canoe trip that you can go on. There's a three mile canoe trip, there is an eight mile canoe trip, and I believe an eleven mile canoe trip. And we decided, okay, let's go on the eight mile. We went on the three mile uh, once before, and it was very very quick. It was like it was like done within thirty minutes. Little did we know, though, we went on a day where there was a lot of water flowing through this river, okay? You just sat there in your canoe, and it just went whoop, 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 and just flew down this frickin' river, man. Uh, but we said, let's go on the 8 mile. So, ooh, we get the glue storm. I don't exactly know what to do about this glue storm nonsense. Uh, oh, gosh. All right, again, the snipers coming in clutch, even against these reinforced balloons. Delicious. <laughs> just straight up delicious. Uh, I, I, I'm so afraid every single time when they get down to the bottom here and they just get deleted. Uh, and we get multiple metal trumps every single round and we can get multiple glues probably every single round if we want to. Uh, a lot of slowdown, a lot of popping power. It's amazing. But we have a crappy crappy round coming up here in just a couple rounds. I think you guys know what it is, right? Yeah. Alright, good combo again. Beautiful. So we decided to go on this 8 mile trip. Uh, we actually buy this iced uh, this little uh, styrofoam styrofoam cooler uh, right before we we're going to go. And my friend loads it up with a ton of beer. Okay, now we are 21 at the time. I just want to throw that out there. He loads it up with a ton of beer and, like, three waters. And I'm like, dude, I need more water than that, right? And uh, he's like, no, 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 no. We're just going to drink beer. I'm like, o okay, all right, that's fine. As we're trying to load it up into the car, uh, he, he grabs the star. They both grab the styrofoam cooler. They try to load up, and literally within the first like foot off the ground, it just goes and explodes, like literally into little tiny pieces. And uh, in front of everybody, like everybody's like ready to go and everything, and it's just like, oh, fantastic, dude. Our only source of liquid, uh, liquid everything is just. Oh, here we go. Round ninety. I gotta take a quick break from this story. Round ninety. Round 90. How we doing? How we doing? Woo! We actually did it! Okay! That surprises me a little bit. I'm... I'm pumped! I am... I am curious about the future, more than anything. But I am pumped about the future. If we can take down DDTs, we're gonna have a real chance here. But we're gonna have to watch ourselves a little bit. I need to make sure I have my abilities ready to go when those DDTs come out. So we're gonna try to just survive without. Oh, uh, no. We got some guns. We're good. We're good. Where to go? Glue. Do that. And uh, now I have to try to not use them, I think, for round uh, 93, I think. All right, there's a lot of balloons still. I'm kind of relying on the snipers here quite a bit. I kind of want to use my Maelstrom, but I don't think I can. Balloons are getting pretty far here, but we are still kind of taking them down. Snipers aim in the front balloons exactly as they're intended to. Ultra Jug still kind of sniping. Oh, he's not hitting anymore. Balloons getting to the very back. Oh! Oh! We would have lost. We would have lost. Okay, so we have $15,530. So if, if something crazy happens, we got this available. But I think we ought to try again, and we might just have to use either the glue or the strom, or just try to survive without it right now and try to use it more effectively a little later on. But again, it's all about the timing of everything. Yeah, this looks terrible. Like, this looks absolutely terrible. Uh, uh, I'm just going to exit out. Clearly, that was a mistake. Uh, pretty bad mistake, in fact. <laughs> this time around, we're gonna go combo here. Boom, boom. That should be good. Easy, easy, easy up. And the balloons get pretty far, but we managed to take them down. Um, we do have the Zoma Gods here again. I'm gonna go for an early Strom. I'm gonna see if we can get it back again before round 93 comes up. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Ceramics are still getting through, dude. This is not good. This is where positioning ends up being really unfortunate on this map for war snipers. If the snipers were in the backpack here and the shrapnel shot was shooting backwards, uh, that would be awesome. 
but I would lose out on all of my ability to hit the balloons here, 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 and here, and that would be awful. If I put it over here, I don't think I'm shooting through a lot of stuff over here. I maybe could have moved these guys to the very far right corner, but I don't even know if that would help me out that much. So we're going to just try again, see if we can get lucky. Um, maybe I'll try for an earlier strom and get another strom back, maybe. Just kind of like combo this puppy up, but I don't know. I'm going to get it back three times. Here we go. Here's another Strom. And that worked out really, really, really nicely. Uh, you know what? We might be good this time. I kind of want to just give it a shot here before I uh, build any or before I use any abilities. I kind of want to try it out. I know it's scary. I know it's sketch. But... Yeah, that's too sketch. That's too sketch. I'll be honest with you guys. If we're struggling at 92, how are we going to be around 98? Is there a chance? Is there a chance? I'm gonna go with a no. <laughs> I don't think so. So we're gonna have to start building something else. But I think that I could beat round 92 if I just use my abilities every time, I, uh, every single time I get them. All right, we're gonna use it three times. Let's see if we can take this through round 93. All right, another Strom. All right, lots of them getting taken care of. Uh, yes, we survived 93, 92. 93, we got DDTs coming out. We are going to get our ability back, though. Unbelievable. I think we're going to beat round 93, and I think if we beat round 93, we could probably take down round 94. All right, fairly early Strom. And we do it. We do it, I think. As long as these guys get popped. They do. Woo! All right, wait, wait, wait. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. All right, I, gotta, I think I got to Strom this. I'm not sure. I am going to glue it so I can keep my Strom. And let's see if that's going to be enough. It's super close. We do take it down, but unbelievably, now we're a kind of in an unfortunate situation for round 94 here. I already go for an early Strom. Kind of use it when we get it. It's the, that's the plan. All right, there's a glue again. Usually I want to combine them, but honestly, going uh, uh, back and forth is not that bad of an idea. All right, Strom goes through again. And, uh, we got glue against so my gods right now. All right, another glue. Another Strom. And I think we're going to beat round 94. Holy crap. Holy. So who's doing the pops right now? I'm actually really curious. Ultra Jug, only 55k. We got to make sense he's in the back. Glue, 16k. Doing pretty much nothing. Strom, 345. He's good. Sniper. Elite Sniper, 305. And the Elite Defender, nearly half a mil at this point kind of amazing. All right, so this is going to be an issue. We've got camelets up the wazizzle, uh, kind of all over the place. I've got DDTs up the wazizzle as well. Super Maelstrom's been doing a pretty good job here, but is it going to last long enough to get us through round 95? And I got a, a strong, strong feeling that the answer is going to be a big fat no. Um, it's close, though. It's actually really close. The glue lasted such a long time, but there's just there's too many DDTs, man. It's just too many. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? Well, we can try to use our Maelstrom earlier. Our glue earlier. Or, yeah, well, yeah. Maybe we gotta use the Maelstrom earlier and try to get it back a second time. If that is possible. I, d I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, though. We're gonna go boom, boom. Kind of early. And I'm gonna see if I can get my Strom back a second time. There's a chance that this just does not work the way we want it to, though. Uh, Snappers are gonna try to hang on here. Uh, glue's gonna wear off soon. And a Strom gets going. It gets going. Oh my god. It, there's a chance that this might go through. I, I'm very afraid to press go, though. Oh my god. Oh! Look how close that was! We were not gonna get it, though. We were not gonna get it. But a glue was kind of up. Maybe I can use another glue. But I think I gotta retry. I should not have played a real chimps. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't know why I did it to myself, but I did. Uh, I also got these guys on elite targeting for now, and I could change that to strong. I just wanna throw that out there. I could easily change it to strong. Right, so let's speed this up. Uh, last time I did it right around when they were at the glue gunner. So I think I'm gonna try that again. Um, and see if we can just magically build something off. So at the glue gunner, one and three. Blow some of these guys up. And we want to aim the DDTs, obviously. Uh, Boabs are kind of important, but it's all about the DDTs right now. Uh, we're going to get a second Strom up soon. A lot of balloons in the way, though. 
See if he's still coming out. It's ridiculous how many there are. So there's another Strom. Just got to pop the DDT layer. We might be good. I've got my glue ready to go. It's a lot of regular bloons over here, though. And the glue isn't even necessary. We take down round 95. Woo! With the five cheapest towers in Bloons Tower Defense 6. Oh, my God. How much further can we take this? How much deeper can we go? Uh, I don't know, but I don't think it's going to go that much further, guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh! So the Ultra Jug, when he is shooting through the balloons, he gets all the way to the back heck here and explodes back and kills a lot of stuff. Unfortunately, when there's not balloons right next to him, it makes it, uh, uh, not shoot. And then we don't get that extra, like, bonus damage over here. All right, I don't know what to change. I can go for an earlier glue. I can go for an earlier Strom, try to get it back again. I can wait it out and wait a little bit longer if I want to. Because uh, the glue lasts such a long time here that we can get basically two Stroms off of, like, one glue almost. Which is kind of insane. All right, again, and we're getting the very, very back back here. And we explode him. All right, we're going we're gonna to wait this out. I'm going to wait this glue out, uh, I, I think. I think that's our best option. Is it regular balloons not reinforced? Snipers can usually deal with those okay. All right, and we're going to go... Uh, I think i got to wait this out. i got to wait till we, all the way till we get this Oh My Gods here. All right, glue and Strom. Glue and Strom. Come on, baby. Slice through him. Slice through him. Get through him. Oh, there's still a lot of balloons there. Strom is going to wear off. Glue is still kind of happening. We're just loading this around, but there's a lot of balloons that our Ultra Drugs are going to have to deal with. I don't know if it's going to be possible. All right, we're going to put them on last for a second. Oh, what have I been doing this entire game? Screw first. Let's leave them on last. Straight lines. All right, we got $43,000 saved up at this point. All right, we're just going to glue right away because we want that extra damage. Uh, the Strom is going to have to happen here, and I don't think I can, like, prep for round 98. I think this is just whatever it's going to be, it's going to be. Um, extra glue, extra strom. Oh, the strom wore off very quickly. Oh, boy. This is not looking good. Back to first. Strom. No. No way. Okay, this is this is a bit unfortunate. I don't know exactly what to do or how to micro through this. All I can say is that... Uh, you know what? Let's try for an early strom. Let's go for a double dose. Maybe we're going to have to wait this out a little bit. Maybe I used my glue a little early there, because I was trying to use it again on some of my gods, which maybe was just not a good idea. All right. Uh, here's the glue. Here's the Strom. That was way better against the Moebs. But now I've got to deal with a second Zoma god that it might not be way better against. All right. We still got a lot of balloons over here. They're getting glued this time around, though. And I kind of wanted them not to pop at this point, to be completely honest. And I think the elite targeting has failed me right there. I think I gotta switch him to first, but maybe, I maybe we'll just get lucky here. Maybe, maybe, baby, maybe, baby. Oh my God! I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Uh, look at this thing! Look at this thing! I don't think I can plan that out. Ugh! I don't have glue. I don't have this. I, I, I just, I gotta. Ugh! It's not gonna pop. It's not gonna pop. All right, we just gotta be optimal here. We're gonna go first and first. And, uh, realistically, we want to pop the Zoma Gods, and we actually want the Blooms to come out slower. That's all we really want to do. So, uh, also, I didn't use my glue this time to start. Don't know how that's going to affect me. All right, but let's wait, it, wait for it to go around again. All right, boom, and boom, and boom! All right, let's see how this goes down. Uh, again, I'm going to pop the first one, no problem. The second one, though, is going to be the, uh, the major decider here. Okay. Strom is not near the balloons. That is a big deal. That's a big difference, man. Big, 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 big difference. All right. Uh, glue. We're going to come out over here. Come out swinging. And we're going to use that Strom. And let's see. It's going to be, uh, again, a, a, almost no abilities here at the start of round 98. But we will take down round 97. Unbelievable. If you guys didn't think we were going to make it here... You can suck on my big fat BFBs, BFBs. All right, we're just going to go for it. Strom right here. I've got these guys on first again. Don't forget about that. Uh, we might want to move them back to Strong eventually. Right now, I'm focusing on making the Strom do most of the work. Uh, unfortunately, this is a lot of balloons, dude. So many balloons. I've got to go for another Strom here while everybody's all around us, though. 
Strom again. Ceramics get sent back, but I don't have the glue on the Strom, so I don't get the extra damage here. We're going to have to go for the glue again. And oh my god, there's just too many. I don't think we're going to be able to do this. Back to first. Oh, that's too many balloons. It's too many balloons. Well, three Super Stroms be the answer here. I mean, right now it's getting pretty sketch. Oh, crap. Uh, I think we're lost if we don't do it, but... Blah, blah. All right, guys. Looks like we're breaking out the sixth, cheapest fifth-tier tower in the game. The Absolute Zero. As far as cross paths go, uh, believe it or not, I... Yeah, I gotta go learn to radius and refreeze. I mean, we just have to. Uh, hopefully this will slow down the balloons near the back of the map, allowing my Ultra Drug to do more damage and my Snipers to actually do some cleanup work here. Uh, we have to make sure we can leave this guy first. I think I still want to try Elite on this uh, guy, and we're going to make sure he is on first, not on last. And we're going to go for it. This is my first try. I still have $15,000 left over, though, so uh, maybe we can make some crazy crap happen. But what I've noticed is I think the best option is to try to use three Stroms and possibly two Glues. So we're going to go for a Strom before we Glue. Let the Glue kind of do a little bit of work over here. Uh... Hopefully snipers don't get stymied by this thing, which is possible. Uh, then we're going to go for a glue strom combo here. We're going to go glue strom combo. And that's going to do a majority of the work here. We're going to slow it all down while we got that happening here. Uh, maybe I should have waited. I'm not entirely sure. But things are still going. I kind of need to use the ice maybe in between the glue. Uh, it's still working for now. I'm going to get another strom soon. Another Strom. All right, Strom is up. No glue there. Ice got to do all the work here, though. It's got to stall, and it doesn't get through the Moab layer. All right, we got the ice ready in between the glue this time. Let's see if this will work out for us. Uh, so far, it's going okay. I got to slow down these Moabs, though. I don't know what's even popping them, but... Uh, oh, this guy is not on... He should not have been on first this entire time, but it actually kind of worked so far. All right, glue is back up. Strom again, but the Strom is not near where I want it to be. And, oh, darn. Oh my god, it's kind of working. Kind of working for now. The Moabs are getting very far, but if you get them down to balloons, the Ice Tower should take care of them. The glue is up. We got another Ice Tower ready to go here. And we are going to, I think, have to blow our icy load all over these Moabs. Oh, yeah. And that is going to set us up for us to lose at round 99. I don't think we have the abilities ready to go here and i didn't go top path of my ice tower and uh yeah i think that's gonna cause us to uh lose oh wait it still worked it still worked with the glue combo maybe maybe ddt's wait 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 three ddt's down oh, 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 oh. all right all right we got these guys on strong and first we're gonna change this guy to elite and elite and we're gonna use the ice tower first before we even strom i think Ice Tower first, then we Strom. That's kind of scary as crap back here. <gasps> so unfortunately, we do have to Strom early, mostly to get rid of the Moabs, I think. And possibly the first uh, DDT here. Why did it work last? Oh, I think our glue was lasting last time. I think we're done, though. I think we only got one try at that. I think we're done. It's so upsetting. Oh, I should go back in time, but I can't. We're going to try something real quick here. We're going to go for a quick Elk. Uh, on both, uh, believe it or not, both of these guys. Let's do double Elks. And we're just going to see if magically this can save our run. DDTs. Blah. All right, got to get rid of the Moabs. Again, the glue is not here, so it's just going to, just going to kill us. Uh, that, that lasting glue from last time. Wait, you know what? The glue is, uh, why are they not shooting that thing? What, did they pop that? They better freaking pop that. Nope, they didn't pop it. GG. We tried. Oh my god. We made it back. We beat round 98. We're going to have all three abilities ready to go on round 99. Um, the only difference is I actually have continues this time. I don't know if that would have actually saved us on round 99 here, but uh, having the option available to us is definitely pretty nice. Uh, so let's see if we can beat round 99 this time around. It's still a little sketch. Three DDTs left. Two DDTs left, one DDT left, and he does not go down. They are putting up a fight, let me tell you. 
I, I feel a little better about this one. We're going to try to freeze these guys in place for a little longer. We're going to go Glue and Strom, where we get all the DDDs kind of on top of each other here. And that goes okay. Uh, looks like I'm only going to get one ability for sure, though, across the board here. I am not going to get multiples on round 99 at the very least. Three DDDs left that got even further than last time. I get another Ice Spray, though, if I want it. Doesn't do anything. Same exact play, but a little bit better, maybe? Better? No, worse. Really late abilities here. Like, uber relate. I'm hoping that the Shram is going to be close to the DDTs on the bottom here, and also close to the ones in the back, which are clearly causing the most issues for us. Question is now, the ones in the middle. How are those guys going to do? So far, so good. Still three DDTs, but they're getting popped faster. Two, down to last one. And we do take them down. Round 99 is complete. The real question for us, the final question for us, is this round 100 possible? with this setup right here. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a big fat no, but you, you never you never know, I guess. You never know. Maybe the Super Strom will just do, like, magical amounts of damage here. All right, we're about 3,000, 4,000 deep on our, like, 24,000 here, which is not very good. Um, but the snipers are doing something. I mean, look at this guy. He's getting damage. I've got the Ice Tower ready to go if I need it. It's going to be a slow go. Let's just go for the other Maelstrom here. Let's go for the other glue as well. It's going to last a pretty good amount of time here. I'm going to get an... Oh, up, 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 freeze it. Okay, that looks good. Two's on my gods. Let's wait till they get a little lower before I use my Strom. I want to be lower. Maybe even wait for the glue. Yes, let's wait for the glue. All right, we're going to go glue Strom. Glue Strom, glue Strom, glue Strom. Freeze. Roar! All right, change. We're going to use the uh, the Strom every single time we have the chance to. So this is my third Strom. I'm about to use my fourth Strom already. There's my fourth Strom. Uh, glue. I think I'm going to use it early again because I just I, I need the extra damage from these snipers. There's my fifth Strom already. Ice Tower is ready to blow if I need it. I feel like I did not get this guy done quite as quick this time around, but that's okay. And again, I'm just going to blow that glue and blow that Strom. Uh, hopefully this time they're a little bit closer to my Strom over here. And it's going okay, but the balloons are getting to the very back, and the ice tower is not ready. All right, here we go. I feel good about this one. I feel really good about this one. A switch between elite and first targeting this time around. We've got our ice tower ready to go. We're going to use it early again. Uh, the glue has to last here. The glue has to last. The glue has to last, and it does! And we beat Chimps Mode with the six cheapest fifth-tier towers in the game. Oh, wow. That was a journey. That was a tough journey. I'm not exactly sure I liked this journey. Let's look at the pop counts. 737, 456, 638, 32, and 170. It really was everybody working together here. Absolute zero, probably the least useful, but still kind of necessary to make this run work. Um, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to be uber nice, click the settings icon here. Click creator support and type in SJB. I'd really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much.